You wanna know what we're doing for summer? Well, check this out. Chips and Salsa, two homeschool moms bringing you fun, encouraging, and practical tips. Welcome to our channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Woohoo! We're talking about summertime! That's right. Summer, summer. summer. Oh. <laughs> I went all classic. You went fresh prince. <laughs> summer, summer, summertime. Summertime. So, this is kind of something we've been talking about for a long time. Well, yeah, you know, last summer, it just seemed like routine without the window, yeah. and the kids were just kind of wasting a lot of time, and we tried to fit in a lot of fun activities, yeah. but I don't think we kept the house clean enough. I don't think that we kept enough routine in our spiritual lives. Right, yeah. And I don't think that we um, really used our time as valuably as we could have. I mean, really, if I have one complaint about summer, is attitudes. Yeah. Because, okay, as homeschool moms, we don't have the issue of, oh, my kids are driving me crazy, I can't wait to send them back to school, right? We don't we don't think that way, but, uh, I mean, maybe but we, we do. do. No, but we think, I can't wait to get back to school to have our regular routine. Right, right. And so, the thing is, why do they get these attitudes? And for me, it's always right around August. It's like, mm -hmm. if, if we're done by June, June, July is fine. August, it's like, it starts just spiraling out of control. Right. So we've been talking a lot and brainstorming a lot on how can we do it, you know, what, mm -hmm. so that that doesn't happen. And um, we've come up with some things. And one of the things, first off, is that we extended our school year a little bit, at least a month. Yeah, well. Or two, three weeks. It's about, yeah, it's about two, two and a half. Well, I guess it's three weeks. Yeah. The school kind of the school system ends on a Tuesday. Right. <laughs> and we extended a couple more weeks, but really with fun and light activities. Yeah. So nothing huge, but it's really kind of to get, make sure that we stay on, on task with math, for me anyway, because I we've fallen behind on math. Um, and also because I felt like I took a more relaxed school year this year. I feel like I was more generous with days off mm -hmm. and weeks off during the holidays and stuff so I was so, like it, it is nice to finish <laughs> up you know your books and it is and things like that I know people say you don't have to but I'm like oh, well, you don't, don't have to, to but if you want to I know we want to finish the study that we've been starting on the presidents yeah me too and we're only on uh, Franklin Roosevelt right now so uh -oh. we've got several presidents <laughs> to go so yeah the number one tip is keeping a regular routine. And so maybe we slide over the wake up time a little, right. but you're still gonna get up. And I made this new mantra I haven't told you about. You're gonna get your body ready, you're oh. gonna get your spirit ready, and you're gonna get your home ready. I like that. Every morning. So you still have to do that in the summer. <laughs> I'm gonna steal that from you, I like that a lot. I think it's so important. I'm gonna actually work uh, with my kids on their miracle morning. Yes! And um, we have these little boards that I want them to you know, write down their goals and just kind of what they what they want for themselves. Body, you know, physical, spiritual, and mm -hmm. that stuff. And, and we're going to really focus on creating those habits in the summer. Of course, what is summer without PJ days and watching, watching the prices, TV? Right? Yeah! So, depending on your schedule, I mean our schedule, we might have a nothing day every week. Yeah. Maybe one. Nothing day a week, maybe it's less necessary. frequently, but nothing days are okay. You don't have to put on clothes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you can stay in your pajamas and you can lounge around right. and play a game in the morning or watch a movie. So you mentioned catching up on math. Yeah. And our great friend, Lena, the one we did the interview with, if you haven't already saw that video, check it out in the playlist, <laughs> yeah. the Amazing Mom series. But she was saying that she does math camps, yeah. well, different subjects, Yeah, camps with the kids. And I think she does it right around this time where that burnout starts and they're right. like, okay, we're almost So there. it's a whole week of math, like four hours of math. Yeah. So Does it sound so amazing? 
Well, she makes it fun. So what she does is they, they like decorate with math. And uh -huh. she, she mentioned candy a lot. So And popcorn. And popcorn. Well, I wrote down a few ideas. So I was thinking the learning wrap ups. So, oh, these, um, I got these and we've used them just a little bit, but I thought these would be great for math camp oh, week. Yeah. So you can take one. So it's all the, um, you know, math facts. Adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and fractions, and you can do races. Nice. So I have four sets of these. That's cool. You could do races with them. You could time yourself, try to beat your time. So playing some games like that. And then math back posters. She talked about getting those yeah. huge sticky notes and just plastering the wall. Yeah. And so everybody's writing their math facts out. That's cool. And then I call it fraction overload. I said we're gonna make pizzas. Ooh. We're gonna talk about fractions with circles. We're gonna make cookies and talk about fractions of a dozen. And we're gonna make a cake and we're gonna talk fractions of a rectangle and we're gonna make smoothies and we're gonna talk about fractions of ounces, you nice. know, in liquid. Because those all can be fractions. Yeah. And I think the concept of fractions is just like is abstract. hard yeah. or abstract, but it's not. This is very tangible and fun. I love that. And then the nitty gritty, the lessons. So we have 25 lessons left in our math book. Well, starting when school ends, everybody will be, not everybody, three of my kids will be on lesson 95. Yeah. And they have 95 to 120. That's five, that's 25 lessons, five lessons a day, yeah. 25 lessons <laughs> done with their math book. <laughs> that's what I want. I think I liked your idea though of both Saxon and teaching textbooks are very similar in the sense that they have small concept lessons and then some practice. Lesson practice. And then the mixed practice. So we'll do five lessons and for every five lessons in Saxon there's a test. So yeah. we'll do the five lessons and then one mixed practice that you were saying you could right. do two mixed practices and then take the test or take another mixed practice yeah. and then that week will be done. I mean, ideally. You know, I'm super idealistic right now. Of course. My estrogen must be high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we talked about maybe doing another math camp where we did like a project. We're actually fundraising for a, a trip to DC next year. And I found, you know, on teach, Teachers Pay Teachers, you can find all these awesome project-based math um, activities. And so there's one on building a lemonade stand. Mm. And so it takes measuring and budget and all that stuff. So I want to do that. There's another one that's building a zoo and so lots of area and perimeter and all that stuff. So I mean, there's there's a lot of things we could do. Yeah, that and, will be fun. Yeah. So similar to the math camp, we could do history camp or science camp, like whatever you want to catch up on or finish up. I know we want you were saying you want to finish history and so did we. For me, really, the modern history is because we were all very interested on yeah. a lot of things in modern history that we didn't get to. I'm like, no, we didn't get to that, you know? So, like, we want to get to it. And I want to go back and kind of have them fill in their timeline just so we can reiterate what we've learned. But they've really enjoyed modern history this year, so I don't, I know that won't be a problem. It won't really feel like school. No. And then science, uh, you know, if we do all experiments, they're going to love it. Yeah. So... <laughs> okay, so math every day is another thing that we want to do. Mm -hmm. um, once we've, we're finished with our nitty gritty stuff, right? right? I'm planning on doing Life of Fred. It's a very short lesson. It's fun. My kids like it. It's like five problems and it's story based, so they enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So another thing that we do and we have been good at doing for the last few mm -hmm. summers is we continue our co-op book club. Of course, on a much lighter version, we're not studying artists at that point. We're not studying um, composers. And last year, we didn't make them do scrapbooks. We just did the right. discussion circle. Yeah, we did. We did the, the, the lit, lit circle. Um, <laughs> they love that. No. <laughs> so for book club in the summer, we sit around the couch, we read together, and then we go swimming. It's very simple. And we get our swimming in. That's right. Swimming every week, your swimming skills get better. <laughs> and then our co-op. And actually we have other friends whose kids go to a public school. Mm -hmm. We all get together and do trips or field trips yes. during the summer to beach days and museums. Yeah. So we usually do about a field trip a week. Um, sometimes it gets, you know, to be too much, but we'll at least do one outing where we swim or something. So yeah, we keep it fun for the kids. So that's all we're doing for the summer. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a lot, so now I have to plan it. Well, we could be totally idealistic, but we'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> the next video will be like, okay, none of that worked. <laughs> Well, we hope you enjoyed our ideas. I mean, let us know in the comments, what are you doing for summer? How do you keep your kids from killing each other? Or driving you crazy? Comment down below and share this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>